Leos, what's going on? It's your girl here, Miss Hawaii. Um, first of all, I want to apologize for the noise in the background. It's my oven is cleaning itself, and I didn't know that it was gonna be all loud like this. Um, so it's doing a self-cleaning thing, and I guess it's making some noise. So I'm sorry about the noise in the background if it sounds too noisy. But welcome to your love reading, Leos. I appreciate all of you, and I'm so very thankful and happy that you're here. I hope you're doing well, your loved ones and your pets. All right, and welcome to your general love reading for June 21st of 2022. It'll be it'll be Leo season next month, so I know that's exciting for you guys. Um, if you're interested in booking a personal reading, check out the description box below. You'll find an email there where you can go ahead and send an email if you would like to inquire. There's also all of my social media information. So all of my Instagram information is in the description as well. If you want to be Instagram buddies. Okay. So check that out. Uh, what else do I have there? Oh, if you want to purchase the extended reading for this read, there's a link that will take you to that page on Vimeo. All right. So check that out. Also, if you want to become a member of this channel, shout out to all the members. I love y'all. If you're not a member yet and you've been watching me for a while, why? Why aren't you a member? Click the join button over on YouTube or there's a link that will take you, I said over on YouTube. Click the join button below. Oh my God, click the join button below if you want to become a member, okay? Of my crate, with my crazy ass, all right? So don't forget to like the fucking video, especially if it resonates. If you like the reading, leave me a comment, subscribe, share, all that good stuff, okay? So. Without further ado, let's see what's going on with my Leos and love. Okay, you got a lot of cards that just popped out. Five cards here. Okay, first card is the Seven of Swords in reverse. Eight of Cups. Ooh, somebody's walking away. Strength. There you go. Yeah, these cards just fell out. So, this is definitely you. Hierophant in reverse. Judgment. It looked like some of y'all got the strength here to leave somebody. With the strength card, your major arcana card here. I mean, some of you might feel bad about it with the seven of swords in reverse. But the hierophant is in reverse. You could be dealing with a Taurus. You could be dealing with another Leo. But a lot of you Leos, you're walking away from somebody. The fool in reverse. Aries energy there. Bottom of the deck. What is that? The nine of cups in reverse. So this is showing me you're not happy. You're discontent. There's some things in your love life, some of you, your life, period, overall, that you want to change, okay? Some of you, <coughs> excuse me, you're on the path to a new journey. You got three major arcana cards here. You got your card, the strength card, which is your energy, which represents strength, mental strength, courage, the fool in reverse, and you got the hierophant in reverse. So you're definitely walking away from things that no longer serve you. Now, maybe some of you, it may not be a relationship. Maybe it could be a job, a friend, something. There's something you're maneuvering from with the Eight of Cups, okay? And then it's, it's taking a lot of strength for you to do this. And some of you may be feeling kind of sad, not sad, but possibly guilty because sometimes the eight of cups is a card of a lot of emotions because whatever it is you're walking away from those cups were filled so you care about the situation or the person and like i said the fool in reverse is like you know a new beginning is here some of you there's this you know you're not ready yet for something new um could be that you, you know your person seemed a little bit reckless maybe your person was hesitant with the fool in reverse to you know jump in something new with you Okay, could be that. Sometimes a fool in reverse could be somebody that's a little bit careless. But whatever it is with the judgment card here, you could be dealing with a Scorpio. This is about you coming to a realization about something, Leo. The judgment, I'm sorry, you have more than that. You have four major arcana cards here. I completely did overlook this judgment card here. So you have the judgment, the strength, the hierophant, and the fool. So you have four major arcana cards right now on the table in regards to your love life so there's a lot of changes happening right now and i think it has a lot to do with your major arcana card coming out you oh shut up your 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 um thank you angels um it has to do with your mental strength your courage here you having the courage you having to be strong to do something okay and some of you with it coming out next to the eight of cups it's it's the strength to emotionally abandon something that really isn't suiting you anymore. 
let's pull some romance angels for you and then we'll go into the tarot okay more of the tarot what are the angel messages here for my leos what are the romance angel messages for leo please universe thank you so much express your love go ahead and make the romantic gesture passion oh there's somebody here i mean you got passion for somebody allow your heart and soul to sing with joy i mean even if there isn't any specific person around you um, look what popped out as soon as I said that. New love. Someone new has stirred your romantic interest. Getting to know each other is on the bottom of the deck. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. Some of you have a new love here. Some of you, you're... That maybe that's why this the strength card is here, okay? Now, I don't know if this eight of cups is you walking away from this new love. Or if this is just you walking away from the past. But a lot of you, a new person has stirred your romantic feelings and getting to know each other. So a lot of you have somebody new coming in. And for a lot of you Leos, maybe the person is not here yet, but they're on the way. Yeah. Okay. Let me straighten up my seat. I just realized my seat is all crooked and I don't even know why. I feel a little bit more straighter now, right? Yeah, I'm straighter now. <laughs> I'm like, I do that with my car too. When I park, I'd be like mad crooked. I get out of the car and I'm like, I thought I was really doing something when I was parking. <laughs> and I get out and be like, that's what I did? Okay. All right. Let's look individually now, okay? Mm, that felt very, like, smooth, that shuffle. How does Leo feel about this person that's around them in love? How does Leo feel about this person that's around them in love? Leo's Leo How does Leo feel about this person that's around them in love? The high priestess <laughs> You like that face? You holding a lot in when I see that card it's a lot you're keeping to yourself, a lot in your subconscious, a lot of thinking about this person, a lot of trying to use your intuition to guide you as far as what to do. Queen of Cups in reverse. Is that you turning your emotions off or is that you holding back emotionally? Some of you, you are a bit. Some of you are holding back emotionally because you just want to see like what this person is really about. Like you're really trying to tap into your spiritual voice. Your voice says there's that fool card again in reverse. You're not taking a leap of faith just yet with somebody. King of Cups in reverse. It's two of you here. Bitch. King and Queen of Cups in reverse. Both of you are in reverse. With the Fool in reverse. So your person... Y'all both acting alike. Who is this? You're seeing you, you're seeing you and them as the King and Queen of Cups. So you could be dealing with a water sign. You could be dealing with the Aries. You also got Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio here. How does this person feel about you, Leo? Wow. What dropped out here? Six of Wands in reverse. Some of you, this person feel like you're not showing them enough attention, Leo. Why is this so low? my spice girls right there I gotta turn that shit up spice girls how else does this person feel about leo some of you if you're like in a relationship with this person or you've been dating like they feel like the connection isn't really going any like it not not, not i'm gonna say not going anywhere but like they're not really succeeding in the connection four swords in reverse All their cards are reversed. Two of wands are reversed. Lack of planning. The sun.
that's your energy y'all overall energy between you and this person mutual energy three of wands in reverse so what's going on it seems like nothing is going anywhere right now nothing's going on two of wands in reverse the sun i see how happy you make this person some of you have a child with this person with the with the sun card here you see this little cute little baby right here looking mad happy but i feel like this also shows if you don't have children with them because that's not gonna be everybody's story i feel like you and this person like you make this person real happy but it's like you're seeing you you're seeing both of you as the king and queen of cups in reverse so both of you could be holding back emotionally right now for some reason you got two major arcana cards but the three of wands in reverse is like delays i was seeing a lot of delays here and a lot for a lot of you it's coming from your person's end a lot of delays especially if you and this person live in like a different state different city i see delays with meeting up or hanging out traveling towards one another let me see the high priestess. You trying to peep them out though with the high priestess. You like, yo, I got to try to figure this person out. Seven of swords. You like, can I trust this person? Are they being sneaky? Are they, you know, are they going to leave me? Should I leave them? Are they going to sneak off? Are they going to ghost me? Should I ghost them? What do I do? Lovers in reverse. Ooh. And I see a lot of you letting go of the past, just like I confirmed earlier. But with the lovers in reverse and the six of swords, some of you are like, is this person going to leave me? Does this person feel the same way I feel? What do they feel? Some of you dealing with a Gemini. Why is the queen of cups in reverse? It's like you and this person are both holding back emotionally. Maybe, maybe neither one of you is really ready to open up yet emotionally. Why is the queen of cups in reverse? Three of swords in reverse. So there could still be some inner healing going on within you. Where you're like, you know what? I'm not just ready yet. Yeah. Trying to focus on yourself. Okay. This is my card of like rejuvenation, healing. Taking a step back, taking a break. Let me see the fool in reverse. Queen of pentacles. Okay. Okay. King of cups here again. Okay. Some of you dealing with uh, heavy water energy. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You care about this person. The fool is here in reverse with the queen of pentacles. You care about them, but show me the fool in reverse. Oh, but the 10 of pentacles is in reverse. But what about long in the long run? Some of you, there's issues with money. There's issues with family, money concerns, things like that. Sorry, I have to keep changing the, the song. Let me see the king of cups in reverse. page of swords in reverse this person be spying on you they're holding back emotionally too for a lot of you because they're scared to open up and they're scared to get hurt but this is somebody that wants something long term it seems like i mean from the way you're seeing it some of you feel a little bit cynical about this person but i feel like you can see yourself having something stable with them four of wands in the future but right now ten of pentacles is in reverse so not sure if a lot of you are trying to focus more on bringing more stability into your life first let's see this person why are they pulling the six of wands in reverse six of wands in reverse nine of cups okay satisfaction pleasure wish fulfillment king of swords with the king of pentacles in reverse here so somebody feels like I don't know if this is your person feeling like maybe you come off kind of cold king of swords energy but i feel like you this person fucks with you i feel like they want more attention from you some of you you're kind of like very into your money your career and they feel like you don't make enough time for them let me see the four swords in reverse nine of pentacles in reverse knight of cups oh Somebody about to make you a love offer. Somebody sees you as the empress. They think you're sexy. They think you're beautiful, male or female. You look good. You're strong. You're independent. They like that about you. For some of you, your person has money issues. That's not for everybody. For some of you, this person has money issues. That could be kind of why you're like trying to see what to do, where to go. 
some of you they could just be materialistic let me see the um but i feel like there could be potential growth here ace of pentacles between you and this person let me see the two of wands in reverse i just heard for some of you if this person lives at a distance and y'all haven't hung out yet like they haven't really made an invitation to come see you or you to come see them it has to do with because of money some of you are taking it personally ten of cups you see what i'm saying i feel like this person can see that with you but there are some delays knight of swords but i feel like they don't want it to be any, they don't want it to be any delays though they don't i feel like this person doesn't want there to be any any delays or hesitancy here so let me see the sun card the hesitancy could surely be coming from you the sun the king of cups i told you this person loves you this is somebody that has strong feelings for you they care about you a lot leo it could be a cancer pisces scorpio this person is pulling heavy 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 water energy okay but this is somebody you're seeing them as the king of cups in reverse so some of you are seeing this person as kind of moody kind of emotionally unstable but your person is seeing themselves as pretty emotionally stable yeah i feel like this person fucks with you the magician here on the bottom i feel like there's potential here for growth between you and this person how do you see this person, Leo? I might go live tonight too, because something just told me that. Some of y'all need me to go live tonight. How do you see this person? Two of Cups in reverse. You see them as not having a connection with you or you see them as the connection has weakened? Why are you seeing them as a two of cups in reverse? Why are you seeing this person as a two of cups in reverse, Leo? Two of swords in reverse. So there's something about the connection. Look at the strength card here in reverse. There's something about the connection between the two of you that you're questioning. Some of you, it's the connection has weakened. It's not as strong as it used to be. Others of you, it's, is there a connection here, period? Is it strong enough? One more card for how you see this person. Some of you are like, is this person even attracted to me? Like, because it's like you're trying to use your intuition. Four of pentacles in reverse. Some of y'all feel like this person spends too much money or they're a spendthrift. I don't know why I just got that. And I never use that word, spendthrift. I've never used that word, but it just came to me. Why are you seeing them as a four of pentacles in reverse? Okay, yeah, you see this person. Some of you, they walked away and came back. Three of Cups in reverse, the sun in reverse, moon in reverse. Ooh, the fool. Wow, that's a lot of energy here between you and this person. Um, yeah, for some of you, this person could have walked away and came back. How does this person see you? Five of Swords, they see you. Leo, why are they seeing you as the five of swords? <laughs> they think you playing mind games or you just causing conflict or something with the five of swords, Leo. I got to keep it real with you. Seven of pentacles with the hermit. So they feel like you've been being distant. You could be dealing with a Virgo. They feel like you're being distant. I'm not going to lie. This, this feels like somebody that is... They feel like you're playing games, whoever this is. I don't. How else does this person see Leo? Five of Pentacles in reverse. Why are they seeing you as a Five of Pentacles in reverse? And the Empress. Wow. Wow. Eight of Pentacles here on the bottom. This is somebody that. For some of you, they see you as somebody that your finances have improved in some type of way. Like you seem like you're doing better financially or some of you started a new job or you have a job where you're making more money. Um, the Empress is also like some of you are mothers or your fathers. Like they see you as a good parent. But the Empress is also like abundance, like you on top. Like nobody can touch you if they see you as the Empress. How does this person feel about Leo? Nobody could touch you strength in reverse 
like you're rejecting them and it hurts some of you they just making them feel a certain type of way their self-esteem whoever this is you could be dealing with another leo but your person feels like you're rejecting them look the hermit again like you're just like you've kind of gone distant like you've gone cold like you need space to yourself but I see you kind of in a place of with the high priestess. You're not really saying much to this person. You're just trying to figure them out. You're trying to you're trying to figure out the connection. What's up with this stove? Oh, was letting me know it finished. Okay. I see you trying to really figure it out because it's like you're seeing y'all as it's like you're seeing the two of you as a match, but you're seeing both of you in reverse with the queen and king of cups so it's like somebody it's either it's both of you is like either holding back emotionally or not opening up emotionally for some of you if this is somebody you've dealt with like you've had history with there could just be a lot of emotional scars between the two of you but i really see you um really trying to connect to your intuition as far as like what to do here and you know kind of in your head and the fool is in reverse so some of you this could be whether you want to go in a new direction or not and that new direction could be towards this person or it could be the opposite way. Okay, so let's go ahead now and look at your hidden messages. I will reveal these for you in the extended. But these hidden messages are basically messages from your person's subconscious that maybe they haven't actually, you know, communicated with you or let you know that, you know, how they're feeling. All right. So what are the hidden love messages for leo from this person here and if you guys want to join me in the extended the link is below in the description box if you're not familiar with the extended in the extended i do a full spread on your person see more about how they feel about you what future actions they're going to be taking moving forward towards you and then we also go ahead and um pull you some oracle advice cards to see how you should proceed uh moving forward okay and you know overall uh with this person and just in love all right i'm gonna pull one more hidden message for you um and we'll go ahead and reveal those in the extended if you want to join me there i'll see you there if not i'll see you next time don't forget to hit me with that like button leave me a comment subscribe and share i love to talk to you guys and thanks again for all your support i will see you guys in the extended if not see you next time have a blessed week bye